Okay, welcome to your third uh, Java tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be working off the previous tutorial. So if you haven't done the previous tutorial, just pause this video and go do it. Now, where we left off is we've created a square and a triangle. No color. Boring. Okay, let's add a color to it. Um, first thing we're going to do is, uh, again, we're just going to, from the base of the package, we're just going to copy. I'm going to go right click, new class, change this to lesson three, and we can just do uh, render. Finish. Actually, if you put a zero in front of the packages, um, it will stay in order. So if you had like 10 in that, so if you put zero on in that, which I should probably be doing, um, that way the packages correspond in order. But might digress. Anyways, um, let's get back to this. So adding color. So he draws the, he draws it, and then he's gonna do colors um, this way. It's really not that complicated. Um, the command is gl dot gl color three f for floats. Um, so I'm actually not gonna go over this, copy this code because it's stuff we already did. So in between each vertices, um, the, there is something we need to do though. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, I don't think we have to specify blend. Uh, yeah, we don't. Okay. Sorry. I just had to make sure we didn't need to add something in init yet. We haven't used init or dispose. Um, we're actually probably not going to use dispose. Um, I'm going to actually delete these two because um, I'm not using them right now. And I don't like the yellow warnings. I'm actually going to add a suppress serial key because I actually hate warnings. There we go. So now we have our code um, in no more warnings because um, I hate them. So now we got rid of all the warnings and stuff. So we're actually going to go in and add a color. Now color, what you do is you specify gl dot gl um, color and then three f. The color red. We're going to do. Uh, let's make this one red. Just pure red. So 1.0F. Green 0 0.0. 0.0F. Uh, and blue is going to be 0.0F. 0 .0 now this is going to be red. So full value 1 for the full of the color, 0 for no color. So top. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to change the two digits in the color. Red, R, G is green. And this is going to be blue. We're going to set this value to 0, 0, and then 1. So now I'm going to re render it, um, or run render. And as you can see, this one's multiple colors. The colors have evenly blended, which is awesome. Um, this is what OpenGL does. Now, um, the blue square, why is it blue? Uh, well, we specified the last color that we specified for was blue, and we didn't clean anything out. We didn't set it back to white, so it's going to remain blue. So the last color we specified was this point, and it carried over to the next element. So that's something to be... Uh, you have to watch out for that, actually. Um, when you use GL color, whatever the last color is applies to everything beneath it. So all the vertexes beneath it will be that color. So that's kind of neat. Um, also, side note, um, if you've been closing out using X um, and you notice your computer slowing down, sometimes um, there'll be an extra process. So um, what I like to do is I like to occasionally check to make sure. Um, you're probably going to have one Java W opening. I have two versions of Eclipse open. Um, right now so um, I have a clips for each monitor um, you guys probably just have one so anything that's like using like 300 here I'll rerun it um, as you can see Java W see how this one's like small um, that's this window so if you have phantom ones running close them down sometimes an orphan gets going um, using OpenGL keep an eye on it um, mainly it only happens on Windows so, so I think Macs doesn't have this issue at all, and Linux I haven't had this problem. Anyways, um, so 
that's pretty much adding color. Uh, let's see how this tutorial ends. Um, color, stick color to blue, time only, so. Oh, yeah, all he did was he added a color here. So if you want to be consistent with these tutorials, you have to go up here, and then right before draw quad, set that there. All I did is GL, it, you don't even need to go to the site and copy it, it's GL, GL color 0 0.5, 0 0.51, which is a light blue. So we're going to run it, and as you can see, it's there. Now, I guess you're consistent with the tutorial. Let's see if the picture matches. And I can, okay, we're done. <laughs> Next tutorial, we're doing rotation.